Start by adding the pictures you want to align. Here I'm setting the field of view, 35 degrees, fairly reasonable. You can experiment with it. Then I go into the control points tab, select the two pictures, and start by picking out easily identifiable control points. Go for straight lines, contrasting colors, those things that are likely to stay the same between the images. So don't pick a moving car, for instance, or a tree. Buildings are what you're looking for. Hugen would try to do a an auto align and often fail, but you can do fine adjustments with your arrow keys on the keyboard if you want to. Try to space out the point you pick. It makes it, e it easier for the algorithm later on to align the images. Here Hugen says it can find a similar point but still gets reasonably close. I usually add around three, four or five points. Here it tries to look doesn't find a point so I add it manually. And a fifth point. Yeah, I'm going for a roof stack. And you can see you can actually find a match, but it's the wrong stack, so I move it over here instead, and it's the right one, and we can add it. Alright, we have control points and you can do a manual fine tune, click off the button afterwards. Now we do the image optimization, the different algorithms. You can experiment. Now you go into the preview, go to the prediction and do a fit. And it will automatically zoom. Pick uh, the mode you want. I'm going with rectilinear. Then you could do the auto, auto crop on the crop tab. It's important here that you try to align the cropping so that the area you end up with is the smallest between the images you have. It makes later work easier with them. So here I'm manually adjusting. You can click on the numbers in the top left to show and hide the images. And when you're done, you make sure that both images are visible. You go to the Stitcher tab. In the main window again, deselect the panorama outputs, select the remapped outputs, and you are done. Who can produce JPEGs, and this is the result. Pretty neat.